YouTube, what's going on? I am back with another video. Please get this video a thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. All right. I'm going to play this video for y'all, ladies and gents. And then we're going to talk about it. All right. Let's get to it. Jill, let's go. If you thought dating was only rough for women, get this. So my best guy friend went on a bunch of dates with this girl, like maybe four or five dates, like really cute dates. He planned them. They were very elaborate. And then for their whatever fifth date, she said, let me plan it. So it was really cute. She was going to do like dinner and laser tag. It sounded really fun. But then just as he's heading out the door for the date, he gets a text being like, wait, don't come. My mom's in the hospital. I've got to go there. Lie. So he obviously was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, take your time. Um, let me know if there's anything you can do. He sent flowers to her house. So then a couple days later, he gets a photo from her of the flowers and she said, oh, my roommate just said these arrived. They're beautiful. Like, thank you so much. That's super kind of you. He responded being like, yeah, no problem. I hope everything's well. Like, let me know if you're down to meet up at some point. Obviously no rush. Um, yeah, hope things are good. Doesn't respond. So then he waits a couple more days and he was, they were talking like every day. So he was like, hey, just want to check in. Like, I I'm not going to talk. I promise. I'm not going to talk. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let it play. I hope everything's going okay. I'm really sorry to hear about your mom, like, thinking of you kind of thing. And then didn't hear from her again. So a couple of days later, uh, we checked her Instagram. So she doesn't, she wasn't posting anything on Instagram, but she does have her ViscoCam link in her Instagram bio. She was at Coachella the entire time. Like, maybe there's a world where something happened and then she went to Coachella, but, like, the timing isn't right. Like, she literally was at Coachella the entire time, which, like, we obviously will never know the extent of how far that lie went. But imagine if she was fully lying, how bad she must have felt when those flowers arrived at her door. Like, oh, so bad. So I guess it's rough on both sides. Oh you oh you thought we had a sweet? You thought we had a sweet? Now, fellas, there are a couple things that I want to tell y'all. I'm going to replay this and there are a couple things that I'm going to that I that I actually heard from her that you guys probably didn't catch on. All right, let's get to it. If you thought dating was only rough for women, get this. So my best guy friend went on a bunch of dates with this girl, like maybe four or five dates, like really cute dates. He planned them. They were very elaborate. And then for first thing first, in 2024, do not waste your money planning cute dates for women. They like toxic guys. They like guys that ain't shit. They respond better to guys that's not shit. Bare minimum. It works. For their whatever fifth date, she said, let me plan it. So Fourth, fifth date. Fourth, fifth dates, bro. You go when you went on four dates to find out if a woman likes you. If you got to go on four dates. The women don't like you, G. You're wasting your time. First date, I understand. Also, on the first date, if you don't get a kiss on the first date, she does not like you enough. That's key. If you don't get a kiss on the first date, you don't have to sleep with her. If you don't get a, if you don't get a kiss on the first date, she do not like you. Trust me when I tell you that. Second date should be consisting of her coming over or something of that nature at least it's supposed to it, you second day isn't to be spending money she can come over or you could go over seems then so because the first date was to get to know who you who who you've been talking over text or to have a feel of if you actually like her the second date that's when we start doing, you know, basic shit, like goofy shit. Or maybe clap, or you get to clapping. It's 2024. If you got to do all that to find out if a woman likes you, she don't like you. Let's keep going. But four or five dates? What the hell? 
So it was really cute. She was going to do like dinner and laser tag. It sounded really fun. But then just as he's heading out the door for the date, he gets a text being like, wait, don't come. My mom's in the hospital. I've got to go there. So he obviously was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, take your time. Um, let me know if there's anything you can do. He sent flowers to her house. So then. That is some goofy ass shit right there. That that is some goofy ass shit right there. It's 2024 again. Women love toxic guys. Women don't like chivalry. They say they do. They don't. Every guy that I've heard that done this, they get treated like shit. Oh, my mom died. Oh, my mom. Oh, oh. well, I'm going to send flowers to your house. You just met this girl. You ain't even you you ain't even taste the coochie yet. She's not in love, bro. My boy, she, she bro, she's not in love, boy. No feelings yet. You have to understand when you penetrate a woman here and here, that's when she falls in love. Going on dates and doing all that goofy ass shit, bro. It don't mean nothing. If you think I'm lying, think I'm lying. But go on dates. And be, be the nicest guy. See what happens. Let's keep going. But the flowers, nigga? And a couple days later, he gets a photo from her of the flowers. And she said, oh, my roommate just said these arrived. They're beautiful. Like, thank you so much. That's super kind of you. He responded being like, yeah, no problem. I hope everything's well. Like, let me know if you're down to meet up at some point. Obviously, no rush. Um, yeah, hope things are good. Doesn't respond. So then he waits. Does not respond. Leave it the fuck up leave that conversation right there was it two days ago i told a woman i was gonna call her at nine o'clock saturday i was in the studio i was doing something i call her around like 9 15 i'm busy she did not pick up the phone one rang she did not pick up the phone well i let it ring I let it ring for four or five times. Nobody picked up the phone. I never called her ever again. If she was interested, she would have reached out to me. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't see your call. Oh, I didn't see your... Seems that she's not interested. Don't waste your time. It's a couple more days and he was they were talking like every day so he was like hey just want to check in like i hope everything's going okay i'm really sorry to hear about your mom like thinking of you kind of thing and then didn't hear from her again exactly she's not interested that's what i boom there you go just what i just said she's not interested women knows who they like women will chase you when they want you women will if you if you stop texting a woman and she actually wants you, she'll reach out to you. She'll find a way. She don't like you. So a couple of days later, uh, we checked her Instagram. So she doesn't, she wasn't posting anything on Instagram, but she does have her Visco Cam link in her Instagram bio. Exactly. She was at Coachella the entire time. Like The entire time with somebody. She had to go with somebody. Or with her girlfriends. But when women go to Coachella, that's because there are a lot of influencers, a lot of, you know, content creators and a lot of only fan, only fans, broads and men. Sometimes these women go to Coachella to to meet with these only fans, men, that they will get dig struck by yeah it happened yeah it happened G it's okay it's 2024 and this is exactly why I tell y'all you can't be a nice guy you can't be considerate of women I did make the rules G Maybe there's a world where something happened and then she went to Coachella, but like the timing isn't right. Like she literally was at Coachella the entire time, which like we obviously will never know the extent of how far that lie went. But imagine if she was fully lying, 
how bad she must have felt when those flowers arrived at her door. Like, oh. How bad she must have felt. The women, the, the women are different now. They got options. They have internet. They have all type of shit. They don't care for you as a man. I will tell you this. Most of my of most of women that I've gotten in with, that's because I never reach out to them a lot, even though they know that you know I, I like them. N never reach out to them a lot. I'm not the type to be too nice, overly nice. I will let you know when you F up and I will not reach out to you. I'll text you once. I don't see a text back. I'm not texting you ever again. I got a nice job. I got a nice car. Fuck you. Next bitch. This is 2024, bro. We ain't got time to be, you know, chasing after the bitches out here. See what I'm saying? I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go after other women. I'm going to show them that I'm available. But I'm not going to chase you. I'm not doing none of that. Why the fuck I work my butt off to be up there and I'm still proving to you that I'm worth talking to i've done the work myself why the fuck am i still proving to you that seems that oh well you need to talk to me i'm not doing that i show that i'm interested but i'm not going to break my back or spend money i'm not doing that if you think i'm if you think i'm lying think i'm lying Women start taking you serious when they hit the age of 35, 30, 35. And also, when they got babies or when they got kids. When they got kids and the baby daddy in here, oh my God, now they need a stepfather. Now nah, they start caring for you. But when they are young and they fine as hell and they can get any man they want, man... I seen some no homo, but I seen some handsome men that get that get rejected by by women, and some good men too. I've seen some men that are tall, that are good looking, that get rejected by women. So, bro, you're not the only one, G. I get rejected by women. It's cool. It happens. It had to happen to you. And that's how you get the grip. That's how you understand like, what your mama told you and what your daddy told you about women. It was, it was a lie. What churches told you about women. Oh, treat them like queens. Do the best that you can. Understand that the game is, the game is rigged. G. If you want to be a nice guy, <laughs> you can be a nice guy. That's cool. But you're about to see it, though. I'm not telling y'all not to, not to treat women right. That's not what I'm telling you. But off rip, you can't be out there doing the most. You could treat a woman right and still do the bare minimum. Bare minimum don't mean you treat her like shit. Bare minimum means you do the least. Because a woman that likes you, you don't need to put as much effort. No, you don't. She'll do all the work. I'm just going to be honest. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here, G.